Welcome to another episode of Bob Johnson Computer Stuff Inc. We are the Tough Book Experts. I am your host Sally, and today I will be showing you how to. Today I will be showing you how to remove the dim cover as well as swap out RAM for a CF30. So first, you're gonna need to remove the back plate or dim cover. I've placed red circles on the screws that need to be removed so that they're easily identifiable. There's about five screws that need to be removed. Got those removed. You have to lift the plate out of place. First, you're going to use your flathead screwdriver. Next, to remove the first memory card, you just push the pin, the clips apart, and that way you're able to remove it. There you go. Next, you want to remove the black bracket placed over the second internal memory. There are two screws that hold it down in place. Remove those screws, and now you're able to remove the bracket. Also, there's a heating plate right beneath the bracket. I recommend using a flathead screwdriver to lift this. It's going to be a bit sticky. You know, just work your way around, across, and then there'll be the internal memory, and you push these clips apart too as well, and there you're able to remove the memory card. Now simply just replace it with the new memory card. There's nothing wrong with these memory cards, I'm going to put those back in. Where the RAM, replace your heating, pl replace your heating sheet. Then replace the black bracket. As well as the two screws holding it in place. Make sure the screws are nice and tight. Then insert back into place the second memory card. and simply replace your plate. Or excuse me, your dim cover. Then once you've replaced all your screws, you have now swapped out your memory, replaced your RAM, and have removed your dim cover as well as replaced it. Thank you once again for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. We are the tough book experts and leading refurbishers. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.